So here's a really great song that uses nothing but a handful of very simple chords. We start with a D in the verse, and then we're going to play this thing, C add 9. We're going to keep the third finger where it was for the D chord and move the second finger down to the third fret of the fifth string as well, and then back to the D. So we've got three beats in the bar, and I'm picking a kind of boom, ching, ching. Bass note gets picked with a thumb, and then two light strums after that. One, two, three, a one, two. So like this. I once had a girl, or should I say, she once had me. And again, she showed me her room, isn't it good, Norwegian word. Okay, the chorus, or the bridge, or whatever, is now D minor. She asked me to stay, and she told me to sit, going to G anywhere. D minor again. I looked around, and I noticed there wasn't a... Now we've got E minor 7, just the second finger on the second fret of the fifth string. And then A7. Okay, so the whole of the chorus. She asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere. I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair. Back to the verse. I sat on the rug, I'd in my time, drinking her wine. Talked until two, and then she said, It's time for bed. Okay, now the, the twiddly guitar solo bit uh, is actually played by John on a six string guitar while George is strumming the 12 string. But I'm gonna kind of give you the best of both worlds. I'll talk you through it uh, with individual notes, just the melody, and then we'll put it into the chords as well. Bear with me, and we'll do this in. in three different chunks. Uh, the first bit is on the third string, second fret, and then I'm going to come up to the fourth fret and back again. And you'll notice I'm using my fourth finger. You'll see why in a minute. Then open third string and then fourth fret again, fourth finger of the fourth string. Okay, so far so good. Now the next bit, na -di -da -dam, is going to be second fret of the fourth string up to the open third. Da -da. Back to the fourth fret of the fourth, and then open fourth. Ma open fourth, open. And finally, this bit, da -di -dam -dam, that coincides with our C add nine chord. So when the C add nine comes, we're going to be moving that third finger down to the third fret of the fifth string anyway. Third fret, open third string, second fret of the fifth string, and then we're going to end on the open fifth string. So all together. Okay, nice. As you go to the second note, you might hammer on. Now, in practice, you're going to do that while you're forming these chords. Take a bit of time and, ha and have a kind of fiddle around. And that's it.